What is up, YouTube? It is JR Judy from Ohio Championship Wrestling drawing up and very, very different. It is called the Wrestling Revolution. It's your way to catch up on all the late breaking news, professional wrestling. I know there's a lot of these videos on YouTube. I'm trying something different, trying something my own. Right here in the background, TNA Wrestling's Slammiversary. I'll get to that in a little bit, but let's talk first about the Bash tomorrow night on pay per view. Everybody's talking about the Bash, and you know everybody's giving predictions. Let's Let's do my predictions, if we will. Unified WWE Tag Team Championships on the line. Carlito and Primo against Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase of Legacy. You know, my pick, I, I got to go Legacy. They're, they're the top tag team in the WWE right now. They have the most backing. They need the push. And, you know, in my opinion, they're going to be the WWE Unified Tag Team Champion of the World. Um, Women's Championship, Molina versus Michelle McCool. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. I, when I fast forward on DVR, you know, watching SmackDown, I, I fast forward through all this women's stuff. I mean, the, the women are good wrestlers, but, you know, I don't I don't see the backing or the point. Um, I'll, I'll pick Michelle McCool with uh, Alicia Fox interfering, I guess. The Great Khali, one-on-one -on -one with Dolph Ziggler. That match is no disqualifications. And... You know, because no DQ, I think I'm going to go Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Dolph Ziggler deserves the push. You know, he. some people who know me, they, they know I think Dolph Ziggler to feature talent. So I'm going to go Dolph Ziggler for the win. But, you know, I mean, it's a great colleague. You can't really have a great match. Don't expect much out of that one. The ECW Championship on the line in a championship scramble. It's Christian Finley, Mark Henry, and the All-American American Jack Swagger challenging Tommy Dreamer for the ECW title. A, a very unpredictable matchup. Um, expect you know everybody to hold that at least once during that match. Um, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Christian or Tommy Dreamer walking out as the ECW champion after the night's over. You know, it, it's hit or miss if that match is gonna be good. John Cena one-on-one -on -one with the Miz. I, I mean, come on. It, it, it's pretty cut and dry who's going to win this. John Cena going to smash the Miz. And it's just weird that John Cena is against the Miz. I mean, the Miz getting a huge push on Monday Night Raw to a pay-per-view match with John Cena, even though John Morrison, you know, carried that tag team and, um, you know, doesn't get the pay-per-view spot. But John Cena versus Miz, John Cena over the Miz. That's my prediction. The Intercontinental Championship on the line. It is Mass versus title. Chris Jericho defends against Rey Mysterio. I love watching these two wrestle, but I hate the feud. The feud has gone, you know, too long. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying Chris Jericho is going to win. Something different. But the way I see it, think of the revenue they're making from the Mysterio mask they sell. If he loses the mask, that's a lot of revenue they're going to lose. And... You know, Vince McMahon all about the money. I think we're going to see Rey Mysterio recapture the Intercontinental Championship tomorrow on a pay-per-view. The WWE Championship is on the line. Three stages of hell. It's a regular match, a Falls County match, and a stretcher match. Randy Orton defends against Triple H. Again, you know, a feud that's been long drawn out. And, um, you know... I think Triple H is going to win it, but it's going to take him. He'll win the second two falls. He won't win the first fall. Orton took the first fall. You know, typical three stages of hell matchup. And, you know, it's it's only like the 3,445,254th time they wrestled on pay-per-view. So, you know, expect the usual in that, in that match. But, um, you know, Triple H, I'm going to break new WWE champion over Randy Orton. World Heavyweight Championship, CM Punk, the new and improved heel version of CM Punk. One-on-one -on -one against Jeff Hardy. You know, I, I like CM Punk in the ring, but I don't like CM Punk as the World Heavyweight Champion. I just don't, for some reason, like him as the World Heavyweight Champion. However, I'm going to pick CM Punk to retain the world title. You know, Edge not booked on the card. Expect Edge to get involved somehow. John Morrison, who pinned the World Champion Friday... You know, not put on the card. Expect him to maybe get involved. You know, there's a lot of things that can happen. Jeff Hardy can come this close, but not be able to see the deal again. I'm going to pick CM Punk to win the World's Heavyweight anyway title. As you can see in the background, it's TNA's Slammiversary pay-per-view. I watched it live. 
you know, I might as well give a review while I'm doing this. Um, you know, it, it, it was a good card. It wasn't a bad card. Um, first match, the X Division title, King of the Mountain, Suicide Retains over Lethal Consequences and uh, Motor City Machine Guns. Crowd was really pro Motor City Machine Guns. It, it was a good match. A lot, a lot of good spots in the matchup. Um, it, it just seemed like there were too many rules for. Oh, big shot by Foley there. It was a too. It was too many rules for an X Division championship match. I think they needed to have you know more freedom in the match. You know the pinfalls, the penalty box. It kind of changed the, the dynamic of an X Division match, but you know it was a good match. Jay Wood took a nasty bump in there with a front off the ladder. You know, I don't know if people saw that it was a nasty bump. Um, but it, it was a good match. Suicide retained. Still the X Division champion. We'll see where that goes. But um, what was next? Uh, the franchise Shane Douglas one on one against the Fallen Angel Daniels. You know, I expected a lot from that match. It was you know going to be a slower technical match, just something different for people to watch. And um, you know, Shane Douglas. I, I guess I guess I heard he suffered an ankle injury. So Daniels wins the match, but it, it was not. It was a good technical match. Daniels didn't have to carry him all the way through that match like people predicted. So it was. It was a good match. We had uh, what was else on that card? Oh, uh, there was the knockout championship matchup. Angelina Love one on one with Tara. Um, you know, it, it was a decent match. It wasn't a great match. You know, beautiful people got involved. You know, about the story. But I mean, it wasn't a phenomenal match for me either. But it wasn't a terrible match. I mean. It was all right. Um, the Monsters Ball mixed tag team matchup: Daphne and Raven one or get two on two against the Bits and Taylor Wild. Stevie Richards at ringside. It was a good Monsters Ball. I mean, the the women definitely you know maybe carried that match a lot. Tear with the spot off the stage. Daphne into the tax. It was a good you know solid fight from them. Raven you know his, his comeback match to pay per view. He he looked great. Abyss you know being Abyss in those Monsters Balls bleeding like a stuck pig. It, it was a good match. I liked it. And we're going to see the Styles Clash real quick. Booyah. Uh, and then what we have? Um, Matt Morgan and Sting for Sting spot in the main event Mafia. It, it was all right. I mean, it wasn't a great match. Didn't keep my attention all the way through. Sting, you know, they, they had a good-looking spot. You know, Matt Morgan going up the elevator. Sting counters with a DDT, but they, you know, botched it. Everybody saw that. Um, You know, it was still a good match. It was a decent match. Sting gets the win. You know, I was happy to see Sting win. I'm a Sting fan. TNA World Tag Team Championships. Beer Money Incorporated against Team 3D. It, it, it was a good little match. I mean, everybody was expecting, you know, a lot more from Team 3D. Obviously looking for 3D, you know, more at the table. There it is right there, folks. There is the controversial finish of King of the Mountain. We'll get that in just a second. But, you know, Team 3D, you know, cost by the British Invasion. You know, obviously into a few with them. Um, beer money wins though, and I, I like beer money. I'm a beer money fan, and um, you know, it'll be good to see beer money as tag team champions again. And the king of the mountain matchup behind me, Kurt Angle wins it with Samoa Joe, you know, costing Angle the matchup, or excuse me, giving Angle the matchup, costing AJ. And you know, I I like the finish. I didn't see it coming. Nobody saw it coming. It was a good twist. And you know, we saw on Impact Thursday how you know it affected Sting, it affected AJ Styles. It really changed the landscape of TNA. Kurt Angle the champion again. It was a good match. Foley diving off the uh, penalty box, good spot. You know, if you look at the match, you know, as a story, building up with the promos in front, you know, it, it was a good match. I, I liked it. It was a good main event. Had a different ending no one thought of. So, you know, overall, not not a bad show. Not not a bad show. I'll give it. I'll give it four out of five, maybe 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 three and a half out of five. You know, it, it was a good show. It was worth the money. I had to watch it live. I didn't want to watch it, you know, on a tape replay. It was a slamversary, but it, you know, it wasn't a knockout drag out, you know, show, but it was a good show. And before I run out of time here on YouTube, let me tell you something about this, you know, this wrestling revolution. I'm here every week, you know, updating stuff, give my opinions, but also I want you guys to ask questions, you know, comment on the video, leave me questions, you know, anything about, you know, favorite indie wrestler, thoughts on a match, you know, thoughts on a feud, you know, whatever it is, you leave on the comments, I'll try to, you know, fit it in the videos, you know, uh, videos in the background, you can see, you know, like this, people didn't see the pay-per-view, it's right there in the background, but, um, you know, just, just leave me stuff, on the, leave comments, leave feedback, leave anything you want, till next week on the Wrestling Revolution, it's J.R. Judy, and I'll see you next time.